Boys, today we're going to be going over how to finish the event as fast as possible. And not only are we going to be going over the event, but we're going to be talking about the details. I mean, we got a brand new Shohei Otani. And honestly, guys, he absolutely rakes, which is going to make him a lot of fun. Debut is going to come whenever I end up getting his card. I'm going to be using him on a stream coming up probably tomorrow. And also, we're going to have a stream schedule out tonight. So be looking forward to your YouTube feed. And I will be posting the official stream schedule for me. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that like and sub button as it helps me out an absolute ton and let's get right into the freaking video all right boys so as you guys know the next year's now is the event that's in the game right now and honestly i'm not gonna lie i'm not saying that this is a great event but so far at what i've seen it could be a lot of fun and the reason why it could be fun is because it has this card that everybody's been waiting for the rookie shohei otani now, the thing about Otani is that his control is absolutely just terrible. It's just terrible. It's just what it is. But the thing about him is that he's going to throw really hard. He doesn't have outlier, which some people would have kind of liked to see. But he is kind of glitchy. And if you guys used his 88 face of the franchise Angels card, like, it was disgusting. It was absolutely disgusting. Really good card. And a lot of fun to use. His splitter, his slider, and his curveball, if you can locate, he actually could be a pretty good pitcher for a lot of people. Now, I do see Shohei Otani going for a lot of subs so you guys are definitely going to want to grind this event no matter what now the one kind of just hurt and pain that comes from this giant program is the fact that there is another 97 you know they thought that you know you would think that they would learn from eno slaughter but they're bringing richie ashburn this guy he's just he's not going to make anybody squat that's just all i'm going to say and i know it's into the game but I feel like they could have just at least boosted his stats a little bit. I don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed in this card as far as the quirks go. Not really anything you would want to see. The only thing that he does have is he does have Bunt Master. So this guy can Bunt Cheese, but he's only got 88 speed. So why would you pick this guy over Ty Cobb or someone like that? You're not going to run this guy over Prestige Mike Trout. I'll tell you that. Now, the one thing about this event that's good is usually, even though these cards aren't absolutely amazing, even the I-97, the Eno Slaughter was going for a good amount of stubs. So even though if you grind this event, you're still going to be able to take your stubs on this i highly recommend it take your stubs and maybe play around with that otani i know that otani is only a 94 overall would like to see if he could be like a 97 or a 98 but it's all right you know we understand that where they're coming from there and i can't really be too biased although i would really love a 99 overall flashback otani or something like that i feel like that'd just be really cool he does rank too this is one thing i hadn't really gone over this is what's so good about the otani card which i'm super excited about is his power right is 124 like holy crap there is not a better hitting Otani in the game. Like, there's not a better hitting pitcher. He's 111, 124 off righties, which is just absolutely nuts. Now, against lefties, he's not great. I'm not going to say that he's good, but against righties, this guy rails. He absolutely rails. So, honestly, if you're not thinking about using him as a pitcher, maybe a bench bat. Honestly, he might be a little bit of a bench bat. I'm definitely going to try out this Otani card. I'm going to grind him, and I'm going to be doing that tomorrow on stream. So make sure you guys are looking forward to that stream schedules coming out later tonight So that's gonna be the official might be stream schedule with school going on everything I decided I'd finally do it and as far as the other packs There's not really anything that's absolutely crazy I mean you get to 45 you get ducks in the pond packs, but really those just don't matter this time of the year The one thing that's really cool is there are there is a rewind pack and if you guys can do it I highly recommend grinding it and going for the rewind pack as a belly's going for a mill and some of these cars over here Definitely are good for your stub bank. If you guys don't already have Rich Gossage, grind to 60 wins, get Goose. He's an absolute animal. So the big problem with this event, other than the cards and some of the things going on, is they are six inning games, but they are quick counts. So I do believe that they would go faster than they kind of would have if there weren't six inning quick counts. So maybe these games take about 15 to 20 minutes apiece. But still for event games right now, the one thing that we would just really like is that if they were just kind of short three inning quick counts. I would love that. And it's not like these rewards are absolutely outstanding. And so the fact that they are six inning games just kind of hurts the community. I'm for sure that a bunch of you guys feel the same way. And you're going to use players that didn't make the 2020 postseason. So you're going to be seeing a lot of money 
Mike Trout's here and a lot of like Ty Cobbs and stuff like that. So you can make a really good team here. I, no one should have trouble making a God Squad here as there's a lot of really good teams and a lot of good players from this. It is a 95 overall cap, so you have to throw some commons in there. But as far as what you're going to be facing the event, it's most likely going to be absolute God Squads. As far as winning games to the event, this is going to be what I start to go over and it's kind of my strategy for it. So how are you going to finish the next year's Now event is actually going to be through forfeiting your first game now a lot of people they hate it and the strategy behind it i understand why you would hate it but whenever you're facing someone that's 0 and 1 your odds just go through the roof i mean i whenever i grind events i always do this and it's kind of something that i always tell my subscribers and just the big thing here is if you struggle to win event games and if you str if you don't struggle to win event games i don't really recommend the strategy but if you struggle to win event games against really good players one thing that i would recommend is to boost your odds whenever you're playing someone that's 0 and 1 they've already lost they're most likely a worse player and you're going to be playing people and your ratings going to be lower it's going to give you a higher chance to win and if you just keep on forfeiting games and you keep on doing that and playing l1 every single time then forfeiting it takes about 20 seconds to do a new entry so it's not taking a ton of time to do this strategy all you literally have to do is quit out your first game i highly recommend doing it it's going to make the games a lot easier and usually whenever i was racing for cards such as the justin verlander event and the jake arietta whenever i was grinding that amazing event what i did did is I played every single game 0 and 1 and I am a top 200 player it's not that I couldn't win games and that I didn't win games fast the reason I did it is because it ended up making it go faster and I wasn't ever facing other god squads now if you want to take the option whether to face a crapper or to face someone who's goaded and has BR flawless times 20 then I'm always going to go face a crapper and that's just going to be how I'm going to go because it'll make it a lot a lot easier to get some of these cards now honestly if you guys are looking at it and you're not going to go for the 60 win rewind i would highly recommend stopping at 20 and the reason why i would say this is i bet this shohei otani goes for a couple hundred thousand stubs it's late in the year a lot of people want to use this card and the one thing that's cool about this card is even though he doesn't just absolutely look amazing off the stat line he obviously is just he absolutely rakes like i said he absolutely rakes so i think that he's going to go for probably 300,000 400,000 stubs nobody wants to grind 20 wins six inning games quick counts so if you guys need stubs now definitely grind this event i hope this video helped you out so make sure to hit that like and sub button if it helped out your strategy and if you want to see more mlb the show content like this thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one